Crazy Wife Story Time My husband and I have a long-term family friend John, who is basically the mayor everywhere we go. My children call him uncle and we've been this guy's ride or die bestie through his first wife, three girlfriends, one serious relationship, and his new wife. All that to say, given the length of our friendship we know his family and his other friends. About 10 years ago, John's friend Dave and his wife, Emily happened to be in the area with their kids and wanted to come hang out with us and several other couples during a beach vacation we were all on together where several people slash couples slash families chipped in for rooms of a large beach house. Dave and Emily weren't invited but just because no one knew them, but we invited John's friends to come hang out all day. Emily ends up talking with me quite a bit. My husband is not in town yet and joining our family the next day, and largely it was nice to have company. We talk almost all afternoon. She's acting as though we are long-lost sisters. Most of the conversation I enjoyed, but it became clear, pretty quickly that she didn't really know who she was, what she was doing, and she tried to give me her version of social media therapy on the beach, and after the second beer it was full-on Dr. Phil and difficult to steer the conversation. I was annoyed but okay. I had an older kid there so other priorities. It was clear she was very not entirely sober. I choose to not think anything of the conversation missteps. After a fun day of beach drinking and kids playing, it was decided that Dave and Emily couldn't drive, and it would just be easier to squeeze them into our beach house for a night. Dave decides to go put his kids to bed in one of the children's bedrooms. He must have passed out because he never returned. This left his wife Emily upstairs hanging out. After an hour more of all the kids in bed and adults upstairs playing cards, Emily decided to show everyone her yoga skills and gets quickly overtly sexual with the men in the room. She starts doing handstand splits on the top of the couch. She's asking some of the guys in the room to help her do couple moves where it takes two to get her into the right position. This went on for at least a half hour. At one point, she sits on the shoulders of the younger solo guy on the couch, Sean, and he stood up trying to get her to stop. She ends up spun around his head with her crotch in his face for a split second and she made some comment about whether he could smell her pucha. No other women were up but it was me, her and four men three married and Sean, single. Needless to say, this ended whatever was left of the party real quick and we all went to bed by 11.30. The next morning Dave comes upstairs furious and apparently Emily is saying things went too far with our friend Sean because Sean was sexually inappropriate with Emily during the party last night. This starts a huge fight with many people and the guys were being so careful about Emily's accusation. I definitely went in the hardest, probably in part to say what my male friends couldn't tell their friend Dave about his wife and part pent up from how absurd Emily was the night before. I used some assortment of skinny, BTCH, and CT. She definitely threw out a fat A asterisk asterisk, B asterisk asterisk TCH in my direction. They left among other debate and discussions. Who knows what Dave knew or thought in the end. My other friends and I really didn't talk about it other than to reiterate how crazy it was she told her husband some other version and that we suspected she was hedging on one of the other guys telling Dave the next day. Five years after that, I'm still friends with the same people. We meet at a brewery and guess what? Dave and Emily happen to be in town and want to swing by and have a two beers. They do and I ignore Emily and vice versa with the exception of passing niceties. Then as we're leaving, literally saying goodbyes, Emily says to me, remember the time we fought and you called me a see above. I reply that I can't believe she would bring that up out of nowhere and that I didn't really remember, but can F asterisk asterisk King believe she'd bring that up now especially since it was clear to me she didn't remember why or how that started. We leave. I have to patch things over with my husband who could not believe I said that but it's all good. Last year, John got married to his second wife and guess what? Dave and Emily are coming. The night of the rehearsal dinner things are polite enough. My husband and I keep it classy and Dave and Emily can't seem to stay away from us. We learn that Emily doesn't really drink anymore and that we have spent the last four years at similar times and similar places, missing the other couple by a week or by two miles on vacations and at business conferences across the country. It seems like a good, innocuous, friendly catch-up. Dave's definitely a good guy. Emily seems toned down, appropriate. My husband and I are glad to see them together, happy and normal. Everyone's middle-aged and grown up by now. The next day, the larger friend group planned some golf club deck pre-party prior to the wedding and invited Dave and Emily. It's a beautiful and sunny day and I'm on the back deck with a cocktail when Emily sits down between me and another friend with a drink in hand, letting me know they've already been to a brewery today, so much for no drinking, and wants to talk about the time we fought. I told her today wasn't the day and that I didn't really remember it. 
There was enough distraction for us to get to avoid the conversation and then once we were alone for a minute again. In our sundresses with our feet on the railing Emily announces she's sweaty, fanning under her dress with her hands, and asks me if I think the golfers on the course can smell her, Pucha. I ignored it. She giggled, like a little girl not someone who is nearly 50. I walked away. Later on, at the wedding our friend John knew enough to sit Emily and Dave with some random adjacent neighbors and not with the big friend group. We all make it through dinner and speeches. The night was beautiful. As the party kicked and Emily and Dave came over to our larger friend group and wanted to hang out. Apparently, they were insulted by their seating. At this point the rest of us have been close family friends, five to six other couples, for 15 years so we're having a blast and I don't know what got into Emily and in trying to complete with that but she started grinding on me. Then when she spilled a drink on herself she pulled open the front of her dress to me to ask me if I could get any of the ice off her tea asterisk asterisk ties. I felt uncomfortable. I stopped drinking and having fun. I felt targeted. Eventually after another hour of being there I convinced my husband to take me home. I hope to never see Emily again. Our friend John also knows that I the only time I plan to see Emily again is if she outlives John. Last week, John told me Emily and Dave are having problems. Apparently, their friend group on their home state began excluding them and their kids over something Emily did. Ever since hearing the gossip, I've secretly hoped Emily gets left alone.